The 100-megawatt Redstone Concentrated Solar Power Tower project forms part of South Africa's Renewable Energy Independent Power Producer Program. The Redstone CSP plant is actually quite a unique plant. It's a technological marvel, actually. Uh, it is uh, a solar tower with a receiver that is based 250 meters in the air. And what we have at the base of the tower is a lot of mirrors, almost 1 million square meters of mirrors, which are effectively reflecting the sun's thermal uh, heat to the receiver. Within the receiver itself, there is a molten salt liquid that, that traps the energy and takes the energy into a storage system. We use that storage system to run a steam turbine and produce the power. So it's unlike your normal PV solar plants. This is concentrated solar thermal plant and it allows us to produce energy both during the day and night. The plant is designed with a 40% local content objective. The intent here is to ensure that where commodities and equipment and services are available in the country, we try our best to ensure that those are prioritized. We are aiming at around 40% for the full spend on this project. Uh, the impact of this on the local communities in the area is that small micro enterprises are given opportunities to where possible and where their capacity is available to participate on this project. We have a series of local companies from the local communities that have been involved in this project over the, the current construction schedule and will continue to do so uh, during the operation phase. And we are, we are deliberately trying to target the community so that we can get best empowerment as possible. We are a subcontractor here on the Redstone Solar Project. We are subcontracted to Fairbeck. Uh, Fairbeck is an international company that is doing the tower. So we are their local partners here on the project. The power plant is situated in the Zanzabani local municipality in the Northern Cape province. On completion, it is expected to supply more than 400,000 people per day with electricity. The project will operate for a period of 20 years under a power purchase agreement with ESCOM. The plant is 45.5% complete and it is expected to be operational by early 2024.